Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today it is a beautiful late September morning here in Southwest Florida and I've got a lot of orchids um, blooming or about to bloom or in spike. Um, and, but what I want to do today is highlight a couple of blooming orchids in my collection. Um, and these, these I think deserve a little bit of special attention, so we're going to emphasize these. I'm going to do a, I think, a general uh, tour of some of my other orchids later, but for right now, I want to highlight just, uh, just these two guys uh, right here. And this one, I'm going to start off with this, and this is a uh, Cattleya pumula, and I've shared this with you before, but um, I want to I want to share with you again uh, because this one the 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 Cattleya pumula surprised me a little bit uh, this morning when I was looking looking through my orchids and the reason it surprised me is because I knew I had this bloom um, right here and. Uh, this bloom has been it's been open for a couple of days and it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't know that this bloom right here was going to be open today, and so this is a surprise. This just opened, I guess, today. I didn't I didn't see it, and then I also didn't know that I have another bloom right here that is a bloom uh, that's coming out on another bloom spike that is probably going to be open in a few days. The other thing about this is Cattleya pumula, normally you get one bloom per spike, um, occasionally two, but there's two on this one. The second bloom spike, the second bloom has an open. There's a second bloom coming out on this spike with this open, but there's only one on this one. So I think at one point, depending on how long these blooms last, I'm going to have um, I'm going to have five blooms open on this Cattleya pumula. Now this is one that I grew from uh, seed, and these are the first blooms that I've had on this plant. And normally when you get a first bloom, <laughs> you get one. And this one has been growing uh, really well. It's very vigorous. Uh, it even has some additional pseudobulbs coming out. Um, my colleague that grows this says that it just blooms uh, sporadically throughout the year. It puts out a new uh, spike. It's, it's an intermittent bloom and it puts out a new um, pseudobulb and then a blooms, blooms uh, grow out of that. But this, I'm going to have a lot of blooms on this plant at one time and it's my first bloom on this plant. So I'm, I'm, pretty, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it's, it's a nice plant. It seems to be really balanced. Uh, the flowers, I'm, you know, it, it is a pumula flower, but I'm not really sure I like it that much. It's, it's small. I mean, let me see if it's fragrant. I'm not getting any yeah, I'm not getting any fragrance out of um, either of the blooms that are open on this plant. And like I said, this one's been open for a few days, and this one just, when they just open, they don't get a bloom, they don't get fragrance, but um, this one over here has been open for a few days, so I'm, I'm not getting anything uh, out of that. Anyway, so this is the Cattleya pumula. I'm really excited about uh, this plant because it's first bloom from seed, and it's got a lot of blooms coming out on a really nice vigorous plant. The other uh, orchid that I want to share with you is this one right here. And this has bloomed for me uh, previously. It, it didn't bloom uh, this time of year. So I think it bloomed maybe around six, between six and eight months ago. Uh, it was blooming and this was the first bloom that I got on this plant. This is not my hybrid. It's not from my seed, uh, but this is our RLC Amazing Thailand Rainbow. And this has been, uh, it's, a, it's a really beautiful plant, uh, very vigorous. Of the plants that I brought into my local um, show, this was actually pulled by the AOS judges. Uh, the previous bloom on this, I had one bloom. Uh, I might have had one bloom spike with two blooms. I, I, I don't remember. But it only had one uh, bloom spike. And uh, it was pulled by the AOS judges just to look at. Now, I don't know why uh, it was pulled. Well, it's, it's a beautiful plant. It's a beautiful flower. Um, but the, 
judges were carrying it back to the uh, exhibit room and one of my colleagues asked the judges how this plant did. She knew it was mine. And so what, what happens is the American Org Society judges, they pull certain plants that catch their eye and they bring it back in a closed room and they look at it very carefully and they judge each individual flower. It's crazy. Um, but that's, that's what they do and that's how it works. And they pulled it, they pulled it and they looked at it and as it was being carted back into the, the main room, uh, the judge said that it wasn't awarded, it wasn't considered for an award because there was only one bloom spike on it. Well, you know, the question is why do they pull it? I don't know. They wanted to look at it. It was, you know, it was, an, it was a nice plant. And the blooms really are spectacular on this plant. So this is a, uh, a hybrid that was generated by, as you might imagine, a breeder in Thailand. And I think it was... Um, it was named, registered in 2014, so not quite 10 years ago. Um, the, the really, the nice thing about this plant, it's very vigorous, it, it, grows, um, it grows pretty nicely. This plant, you know, the new blooms are on new pseudobulbs, there may be, you know, I don't think there's, there's a number of other pseudobulbs um, growing out on this, young ones, new ones, so there may be some additional blooms uh, coming, I bought this, um, and this is these. This plant is not that unusual. You should be able to uh, purchase it. But I got this at RF Orchids, um, maybe about two years ago, year and a half, two years ago, and and I like buying stuff from them. Again, their stock is just really high quality. Um, but anyway, this plant. Um, it bloomed once for me previously with just a single bloom spike, and now we've got two bloom spikes coming out on it. One of the bloom spikes has just a single flower, and the other one has, has two flowers. This one um, just opened uh, yesterday. This has been open for a few days. And then the thing that I like about this, um, this flower, the flowers, I guess the previous bloom, the flowers were a little bigger. Um, these are a little smaller. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, but the thing that I like about this flower is the flaring. I'm really into the colors and the flaring. So on the, uh, as I look at this, the sepals on this flower, so the, the, the three sepals that come out from the flower, they're flared. And so they have, they have um, a darker, they have some, um, actually it looks like it's a, it's a, a darker yellow in the middle and then a light yellow on the outside of those sepals. The petals have a combination, of, they have red flaring. So that's, so you have flaring both in the petals and the sepals, which is not unusual, but what is unusual is the different colors that you see in the sepals and petals. So the sepals again have uh, a dark yellow and then a lighter yellow, and then the petals have this red flaring with yellow around that. The fragrance on this is amazing. It's a, it's a classical um, Cattleya. It's just starting, so it's early morning. I think this thing will get more fragrant as the day goes on. So the, frag the fragrance on it is this Classica Cattleya, very, uh, very floral, uh, very, you know, powdery, sweet, uh, just a wonderful fragrance on, it, on this, on the flowers on this plant. And, and this is, this is one of my favorite plants. I haven't had it for that long. It hasn't become my favorite plant, but it is really a nice blue. All right, so what am I doing with with amazing Thailand? This is, and I don't know whether I said it. This is amazing Thailand, and then the cultivar is rainbow. Um, but what am I doing with this plant? Well, uh, the previous bloom on this, I collected Polinia, and I've actually used the Polinia to cross onto some of my other plants. Um, there are progeny listed from Amazing Thailand, and those progeny are also generated, most of those were generated by the breeder that generated uh, this plant. And some of them have Amazing in the name, some of them have Thailand in the names. It's always Amazing some other uh, Thailand city or something, uh, something like that. But it's, it's been used to hybridize. What I found uh, by the original breeder in Thailand and by a couple of other uh, breeders, um, I started using this and I, again, I, I harvested the Polinia 
from the previous bloom and stored it. And just recently, I used the previous pollinia from this to make some hybrids. So those seed capsules are forming. And by golly, what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to harvest pollinia and use this. Um, Amazing Thailand is a, from the hybrids that have been made, it's a decent male or female parent. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll cross onto this. It's a big enough plant, so that should be able to support um, seed, a, at least a seed capsule, maybe a couple. Uh, but the main, but I'm going to use, I'm going to harvest the pollinia and use it in the crosses. What I've seen um, with the hybrids, the few hybrids where there's images of the flower, is that the flaring that I really love in this plant is transferred onto the progeny. So what I'm going to do, but in, in some cases those, the, uh, the other parents, the other parent uh, had flowering, in some cases they didn't. So I'm really hoping to maintain this really unusual coloring and flaring and then cross it with something else with a different type of flaring, which is really what I love in my cat list. Okay, so that's all I have today. Again, I wanted to share these two plants with you. I've got a lot more stuff blooming. Everything is doing really well. I think we're past the peak of the summer here in Southwest Florida, so it's cooling down just a little bit. And I'm, um, I'm excited because this is when, uh, and it's rainy season still, so this is when these guys really take off. All right, so that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching today. Uh, my two special highlighted uh, orchids that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I have more videos coming of different orchids in my collections, few other, few other fun things as well. I'm gonna do another fun video on, uh, on well, you'll see. All right, so anyway, um, if you enjoyed my video today and you wanna keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and happy propagating.